Hey guys, so I am back with another video. And today I'm gonna to be doing this makeup look for you guys. Um, it's again using some products from Juvia's Place. I'm sorry, if you guys are tired of Juvia's Place, are you? I'm not, but I'm not. So um, I did use some stuff from their bronze and blush collection to create another look. I'm loving this one. This is like so me, right up my alley. Definitely a look I would wear a date night, girls night any day of the week honestly i love this look it's super just so pretty nice and blended um but this is the look that i'm gonna be showing you guys today i will have all the products that i use listed throughout the video and i also have them all down in the description box but before you guys hop into the video make sure you guys are subscribed and turn your notifications on so you do not miss an upload your girl is back to recording videos hopefully you guys checked out my last video which was my my huge natural hair care haul which was a lot and i really enjoyed that video actually so hope you guys checked it out if you haven't i will have it linked in the cards also some of my other chit chat get ready with me kind of videos all those will be linked or somewhere just just go to, just check out my channel like it's all there if you guys are old here Thank you guys so much for sticking with me during my process of like trying to figure out when I'm going to schedule, when I'm not going to schedule, when I'm going to post, when I'm not going to post. But I think I figured out somewhat of a schedule. Nonetheless, if you have your notifications turned on, you will know when I upload all the time. You know, that'll just save you guys a lot of time of figuring out like why is everyone now posting. Also follow me on Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook page, all that stuff. It'll be linked down in the description box as it always is. You guys know that if you guys follow me for a long time. And if you guys are new here, welcome. Consider subscribing and turn your notifications on too as well. Um, and yeah, let's hop into this video. So if you guys haven't caught on, the gag is the products are actually not down in the description box because if you cannot tell, this is an old video. This video is about three years old. Um, if you can tell by the backdrop, the set, everything, it's different. And this was actually my old set in my old apartment about three years ago. And I was looking through like my hard drive and like some old footage. Um, and this was like one of the old footages that I have where I had actually the whole completed video and I just never edited it. I never uploaded it. And yeah, so I figured I'll do that today and just chit chat with you guys. Um, I, I, I just love this I, I love this backdrop setup I know it's like so like circa 2020 I don't know this was definitely during like COVID times when I was shut down and I was filming a lot during shutdown um even though I was still working but literally I would come home from work I would shower I would film literally wash my face off two seconds later and go to bed and do it all over again and then when I started school I would only film on the weekends or on Fridays I would film like Friday Saturday Sunday like I had a lot of content back in especially during COVID like peak COVID times like that 2020 time frame my daughter wasn't around so I didn't have to worry about literally anything but myself during this time so I was filming a lot during this time um, so yeah, so the setup was just perfect. Everything was perfect, 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 perfect. Um, but yeah, it was just, I don't know. This is just so, when I saw the video, I was like, oh my gosh, I have like all the clips from this video that I can actually post, um, and just admire, um, you know, the nostalgia of it. Like I haven't filmed in this setup in a very long time, but it just really shows like how far I came. This was definitely during like February. I can see my little heart lights on my makeup brushes that I had. You guys probably can't really see them, but they're there. The, the little red dots in the background, those are actually heart lights. I did not turn any of my lights on. I can tell it was nighttime. I don't know why I didn't have my lights on, like the little fairy lights in the background, but I had like my Juvia's Place stuff back there. And it was just, it was just a different time for me. Um, and it was just fun, but I remember when this palette came out, like watching this video, I like, I remembered buying all this Juvia's Place stuff during this time of like, they came out with their blushes and you know, they had the, the lip collection, the bronzer collection. Like I, it just brings me back to that time where I was like, this is, 
this was a time. This was a time. Um, so I figured I'll sit here and chit chat with you guys and just, you know, have you guys enjoy watching this video while hearing me talk about products that I actually do not remember the names of because, yeah, it was so long ago. But I do know that these brushes are from Morphe. <laughs> That is the one thing that I do know for sure is that these are from Morphe because nine times out of 10, if I was filming, I was either filming with my Juvia's Places, Juvia's Place brushes, my Morphe brushes or my Real Technique brushes for the most part, like the majority of them. And these have a black handle, so I can almost guarantee you that they're the Morphe brushes. Um... So that I do know, and I do know that this concealer is the Juvia's Place Concealer because that is the only concealer that they actually have. So I know that that's what it is, and this is their um their foundation stick, or I don't I don't even know remember what they called it at the time, but it's that in Congo. I can tell by how dark it is that it is um it's either Cong Congo or Tanzania, one of the two, and the concealer shade is number eleven. That I do know. There are things that I do know by looking at videos just because certain things are like very like obvious. Other things I'm not even going to try and guess. Um, but yeah, so that's like this video. I just kind of want to sit here and chit chat and talk and like laugh at the fact that I have no idea what products that I'm using on my face for the most part of this video. Um, my eyebrows look really good. Um, they're a little dark in the front, but nonetheless they look nice and neat i'll give myself that um the blending was impeccable in this video actually when i was watching it back i was like girl you are blending like your life depending on it like you are blending hardcore like someone was like if you don't blend this out to perfection you're gonna die that's how i was blending out in this video yeah i'm doing my thing on this i'm doing my big one on this blending i will say these days, living in this chaotic life that I live now, like, it's not chaotic, but you know what I'm saying? It's just like a more fast paced life than I was living before. Like, I don't spend this much time blending anymore. I like, I just don't. Um, this foundation, whatever it is, it's beautiful. It matches my complexion to a T, so it's absolutely beautiful. And I love how I'm doing like little polka dots all over my face. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing, but you know, I was just having a good time, I guess. And I was just dot, 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 dotting and just polka dotting it up. Um, but yeah, you know, watching videos like this and like coming across clips like this, even like in my new space, just like clips of where I have like actually all of the footage. It's like, it makes me feel so good because it's like, yes, I have another video that I can put out and I don't actually have to film right now and I don't actually have to figure out how to set up right now. I can literally use this footage. This is what footage is like this is for. It's like filler footage, you know, it's like, it's like those flowers, like the baby's breath. It's like filler flowers. Like this is filler video. Like this is filler content. You know, like when they say like everything is content, everything is content, guys. Everything is content. Don't be afraid to pick up your camera. Even if you're just recording yourself riding your Peloton bike. This is not sponsored by Peloton. But even if you're just riding your bike or whatever, film it. It's content. Somebody's going to watch it. I promise you. Whether it's five people or 500 people, somebody's going to watch it. I promise you everything is content. Um, and I, I'm kind of saying that to you guys as if like it's motivational, but I'm actually like saying it to myself as well. Like everything is content. Like when you focus so much about what am I going to do? How am I going to post this and that? Like, yeah, it's great to have a plan. Like definitely some of my videos, I like to have a plan, but other times, like I don't always have a plan. Like sometimes I'm filming me just get ready for a day out. And then I'm like, should I really film this? And then I film it and then I end up loving it. And I may not post it right away, you know, like this video here. And I probably only po didn't post it because a lot of my stuff was in storage. But, you know, just like this video here, I didn't post it. But I loved the look. I loved how it came out. Um, even when I was looking at the pictures like I took for this video, I was like, oh, these pictures are beautiful. I can't wait to post on my Instagram. Even though they're about three years old, but they're s still pretty. Um, you know, everything is content. So it's something that I'm telling myself more and more to keep myself more motivated. 
just more excited about filming and just understanding like sometimes I'm not going to have a plan. Sometimes I'm not going to have a schedule, but I can make this work and I can be, um, even if I'm not motivated that day to film a sit down type of video, I am committing myself just to be motivated with picking up my camera, picking up my GoPro, um, and just filming, just filming and, and creating something. What do you think people do when they vlog? Like they literally just, they probably vlog for like 10 minutes of the day and then like cut that video down, like, and just pin a whole bunch of clips together. That's like kind of what I need to start doing. And I just need to start going in that, that direction because I feel like the idea of sitting down and filming in a space that I'm not too comfortable with or too like excited about the alternative to that is, you know, maybe just filming a, a few minutes a day and vlogging and doing that kind of stuff or, you know, maybe doing some videos with my, you know, my husband or something. I don't know. I don't know what that looks like, but the point is to just understand that everything is content and everything can be contact and con content and just because, you know, a hundred thousand people don't watch it doesn't mean, you know, five people will watch it. And that's what I do it for. I love filming just in general. I love like the production of it. I love, I love filming, like sitting down and filming, sitting down and editing. I actually like doing that. And whoever watches, watches, you know what I mean? Like I just enjoy the experience it's very therapeutic for me like even sitting down and doing my makeup sitting down doing my hair and then being able to film all those things and re-watching it it's very therapeutic for me so I say all that to say is everything is content and yeah this came out to be a very pretty look I'll post a picture of the final look on Instagram if you guys um I mean you guys watch the beginning of the video so you guys know what it looked like but I'll post a picture on Instagram because I liked it as well. And yeah, that's kind of the end of the video. I think we're at the end. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know what other videos you want to see here on my channel. Bye, guys.